How do you get that shine? Like everything in life. Okay, so so how does how does somebody get a glowing personality? You know, how does somebody get a great education? How does somebody have a good, clean mind? How does somebody uh, become a superstar athlete? How does somebody become a fantastic businessman? How does somebody become very successful? Uh, you ask any of those people that. It, 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 takes, it takes hard work. It takes perseverance. Um, it also takes the, the, the right set of skills. Sometimes it takes the right tools. It takes the, the right education. And it also, you know, once again, perseverance, it takes dedication and, and not giving up. And you have to have intent to do it. Um, getting that shine from just pulling a can of, off a shelf that says gloss on it or semi-gloss usually is a big failure. Because you can put that gloss or semi-gloss finish or satin finish on a poorly prepared surface and it's going to look hideous. If your surface is not flat, it's gonna, it's not gonna reflect the light just right. And once again, you know, my education uh, was in fine arts and photography. And, um, you know, when you photograph a, a, a car or a glass sculpture or, or whatever, you know, whatever you're photographing, you gotta make sure that your lighting is right and everything is, is the way the light reflects off that surface is, is right. And that's the same thing in woodworking. If you have an uneven surface or a poorly prepared surface or a really bad sanding, the light is not going to reflect off the surface the right way. And that goes back now to how do you get that shine um, as a businessman or as a as a woodworker or as a or as a you know as 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 an athlete. It it it, it takes skill. And first thing you need is the skills to get that flat surface and the, and, and, and the skill to prepare the surface properly. And that means, you know, whether you know how to use a hand plane, if you have a hand plane surface, your skill at using a hand plane has to be right. You have to understand how to use a hand plane. Your hand plane has to be properly sharpened. The, the blade, the knife on the hand plane needs to be properly sharpened the right way. Um, it needs to be dialed in just the right way. Your strokes need to be used the right. You need to use the right hand plane for that surface as well. As for sanding, you need to have the proper sander, the proper sanders, actually, in, most, in, in just about every case. Most people only work with one sander. Actually, you should be ha using multiple sanders. There are rough sanders. There, there, are, there are medium, medium uh, sanders, you know, and then there's really, really short stroke, beautiful, fine, really fine sanders. Um, you have to have the right sandpaper, you know, if you're sanding, um, and that means using the right quality sandpaper, the right grit at the right time, um, and not skipping grits, spending the right amount of time sanding with each grit, uh, using the proper sanding technique. So a properly prepared surface, whether you're getting a can of semi-gloss off the shelf or and, and or just a oil finish it's going to show it's going to look beautiful but if you do it right with an oil finish like Odie's it's going to blow away the semi-gloss can it's going to blow away the can of polyurethane or, or varnish semi-gloss so how do you get that shine it's up to you and it takes your skill level and the right tools and the right mindset to get that shine. Now, we can provide the tools to get you there. We do provide the papers on our website. We, we provide the best sandpapers you can get. Um, actually, we, we use Norton. and we, we really like the Norton brand sandpapers. Um, and we also have the Norton uh, 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 non-woven pads. We find they're the finest in the industry, the best in the industry. And then as for your tools, we can give you some pointers on what to use. We do sell the gem polisher. It's a great sander, a fantastic one. One of my favorite sanders out there. We also sell the, uh, 
the Dynabraid line of sanders, which are really fantastic. And unfortunately, a lot of woodworkers don't take advantage of those. We have them. We have access to the full line of Dynabraid sanders. Um, I chose those tools because I find them to be the best. Now, as for, like I said, how do you get that shine? It's, it takes that skill. It takes the know-how, the knowledge, and we can, we'll can provide the tools for you, and we also will provide some of the knowledge, and we can help you part of the way. But I would suggest really learning and honing down your skills first as well. Now, we've seen, I see a lot of really fantastic woodworkers. They do really, let's put it this way, they're not really fantastic woodworkers, fantastic guys that are, and women that do amazing joinery. Beautiful joinery. And they've got a lot of skill in that area. But they'll lack in their finish, finish preparation and lack in their finishing. And too often, that all gets taken for granted. Um, it's, it's, I don't blame it on the woodworker. I blame it on the industry itself, the finish industry. Because the big finish companies basically, they started providing these instant gratification products, the shine in the can. And... A lot of woodworkers lost the skill of proper finish preparation. A lot of woodworkers don't even understand how to use hand planes. Me, I myself are guilty of that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not skilled in hand planes. And that's one of the things I'm going to wind up doing now. I'm going to start doing that now that I have the time. And, I, you know, I'm not working in the wood shop as often anymore, you know, making big pieces and, and doing, running a production shop. I really want to get further in touch with my, my art form and really learn how to use hand planes and hand tools uh, even better than, than what I know right now. But that whole art form and that whole skill set, it, it's been lost by big chemicals. Big chemicals, really, I, I would say, or big finish companies are, are to blame for it because of they think we're all lazy and they think, you know, we're, we're you know, I, I hate to say it, they, they think everybody, people are, are dummies. And, you know, oh, we'll get a can and a spray can and a lacquer and, and spray it on and, you know, look how great and newfangled this is. And if you don't have a properly finished and prepared surface, it's, it's not going to give you what I call the shine that you see in the videos, the Odie's videos that are just glowing and you see the reflection of the, the person working on it. Or, or you see Matthew holding it up and outside and it looks like a mirror. You know, or you see the tables that Matthew's produced or I produced or, or many of the other woodworkers that are out there using our products that are getting these beautiful shines. So if you're asking the question how to get that shine, what I want you to really do is ask the question, Do have I really mastered the skills to produce a properly prepared surface? And if you haven't, you should go back and learn how to prepare a surface properly. And there are many books on it. As a young man, I grabbed books off the shelf in the library. I, I bought, bought books in, in the bookstore. On, on literally on on how to prepare a surface and and you need to master your tools and if you don't have the tools not everybody has all the tools that's okay you know you can go out if you can afford to you can go out and get them but also not everybody's looking for the shine some people just want to put a finish on and be done with it and that's okay and Odie's is great for that but if you're looking for that shine that means you're someone that's probably you know, wants to have the skill set to make the shine. And you're probably a, someone who's interested in, in woodworking or, or whatever, even concrete polishing. How do you get the shine on concrete? You got to have a properly polished surface. And then you put your oils down, your finish, Odie's all down, and you, get a, you can get a mirror finish. So I hope that answers your question there. If I left anything out, let me know. Um, I'll be glad to revisit it for you. But, uh, but how do you get that shine?